Any time a vaccine is being transported or stored at your health facility, it must be kept at the right temperature, between 2 degrees and 8 degrees Celsius. The only way to know that a vaccine has been kept at the right temperature is to monitor and record refrigerator temperatures twice every day. In this video, we will show you how to use the log tag so you can do this. The log tag is a common model of 30-day electronic temperature logger, or 30DTR for short. 30DTRs record temperatures at least every 10 minutes. They trigger an alarm when temperatures are too high or too low for a certain period of time. And they record a 30-day history of temperatures and alarms. For 30 DTRs, like log tags, to effectively measure vaccine temperatures, they must be placed correctly. If the refrigerator is used to store vaccines that are not freeze sensitive, place the device on the top of the vaccine load in the warmest part of the refrigerator. If the refrigerator does store freeze sensitive vaccines, place the device in the coldest part of the refrigerator being used to store these vaccines. Now, we will show you how to read and interpret a log tag. There are four tasks you must be able to do on your log tag. Read the current temperature, find the highest and lowest temperatures recorded for the past 30 days, determine whether any temperature alarms have been triggered and when, recognize when you need a new device. So, we will start with the first of these tasks, reading the current temperature on your log tag. To find the current refrigerator temperature on the log tag, look here, near the top of the display. The second important task is to find the highest and lowest recorded temperatures over the past 30 days. To go back through recorded temperatures, use the review button or the back arrow button. Each press of the button steps through the highest and lowest temperature of each day, starting with today. Start by pressing the review button once. The display day will flash here. Now you are looking at today. This is today's highest recorded temperature or max temperature. Press review again to see today's lowest recorded temperature or min temperature. You can keep pressing the review button to see high and low temperatures going back day by day for the previous 29 days. The third task is to determine whether any temperature alarms have been triggered and when. Typically, a 30 DTR, such as the log tag, triggers an alarm if refrigerator temperatures fall to negative 0.5 degrees Celsius or below for 60 minutes, or if the temperature exceeds 8 degrees Celsius for a continuous period of at least 10 hours. When the log tag alarm is triggered, you can see the word alarm on the display. This alarm symbol will remain until you clear it, even if temperatures go back within range. Here, you can see that temperatures are still too high. It is 10.5 degrees Celsius. The up arrow confirms that this temperature is above the 8 degrees Celsius limit. To find out more about this alarm, you can press review to see the day's maximum temperature. This display shows you the maximum temperature for the day, as well as the duration of the high temperatures. Here, you can see that the maximum temperature was 10.5 degrees Celsius, and that temperatures were above 8 degrees Celsius for 10 and a half hours. To clear an alarm symbol, press and hold the round button next to the word clear. The alarm data will be stored and can be viewed for 30 days. Like other 30 DTRs, the log tag records all the heat and cold alarms for the past 30 days. The days that alarms were triggered are shown here, at the bottom of the display. You can see that, in addition to today's alarm, an alarm was triggered 7 days ago and 19 days ago. To view past alarm data, Press review until you get the temperature data for those days. 
Remember that an alarm does not go off automatically when temperatures go out of range. You might see a display like one of these with temperatures above 8 degrees Celsius or below 2 degrees Celsius, but without an alarm. Why? The alarm is not triggered until the temperature is above 8 degrees Celsius for 10 consecutive hours or below negative 0.5 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes. If you saw one of these displays on your log tag, you know that temperatures have not been out of range long enough to trigger the alarm. Now let us look at the last important task, to recognize when you need a new device. If you see a symbol on the screen of your device that looks like this, it means the battery in your device is running low. And that means you need to request a new device right away, since you cannot replace the battery in a log tag. By performing these four important tasks every day, you will be able to better monitor temperatures in your facility's refrigerator and protect the vaccines inside.